Well, we're ready when you're ready, please. Thank you, Mike. Hey, Anthony, what stood out to you about the fourth quarter, uh, especially defensively there? What was the first part? Just, just uh, what stood out about the fourth quarter uh, to you when, when you guys flipped the game around? Um, we got a couple of stops. Uh, we made some shots, but I think for the most part, we got stops. You know, Tatum got loose a little bit in the fourth, but, uh, you know, all the shots were contested. Uh, you know, we've been doing a good job of, of buffing down the whole quarter. Stop the Detroit game. I think so even in Philly did a good job. That's how we were able to come back. Um, you know, just buckling down the fourth, being a team where when we need stops, you know, we're going to get them. Um, you know, playing hard, playing scrappy, and uh, you know, I think that that last play um, when with uh, Jalen Brown going to have an easy layup and um, he had to cover into to Kemba. I just think that summed up for the defense. We were just scrappy and just, just playing hard. Looked like you were more aggressive, especially early, uh, 18 and 10 in the first half. Uh, just wondered what this the season's been like for you, uh, trying to, you know, with everything that you talked about preseason, the short and off season, how the new teammates, how, how would you evaluate the whole thing so far? Uh, it's been good so far. Um, you know, for me personally, I just, you know, just get back to the tech mode. Being aggressive, uh, crashing off the glass, playing, doing those things, everything that I did tonight. I'm trying to get back to that and what I got back to it tonight, carry over for uh, that's the season. But like, the things come together very well. We were um, starting to figure each other out. The guys are getting comfortable. And, and, and you know, we're doing it. For the short practice time and uh, we're doing on the road. So, you know, the more games that we play with each other, the, the better we'll be. Dave? Anthony, Alex, you credited uh, that defensive play he, he made late uh, when you spoke to Rachel afterwards. But you know, there's other guys who have more experience in the league on your roster who uh, have more credentials, who have, uh, you know, command a, a larger salary, but he's part of the the closing line of or has been um, often for you guys. What about his game, about his persona, um, allows him to fit in in that role? And, and what do you guys like about having him there when it's winning time? Yeah, he's a smart player. Um, like I say, he's not the highest paid or, you know, have all the <clears throat> accolades or credentials and, and you know, a lot of people don't notice him, but uh, he, he, he plays the right way. He, he, you know, locks up defensively, um, makes tough shots, scrappy. Um, I saw a stat, well, actually, Doug, I didn't see it. Doug told me after the Detroit game is that in our losses, I mean, he's, he's a plus 46 and like plus minus or something like that, which just shows that um, anytime you throw him on the floor, he, so he's always in the, you know, plus column and the plus minus, which means he's playing the right way. He's he expecting the game, you know, in a positive way. So um, for him to be out there and go the line with us, um, you know, we trust him. Coach trusts him. And, you know, he always come up and, and make big plays. That's, you know, what we see tonight at the end of the game. Dan? For, for what it's worth, I think he's a plus 14 tonight while scoring two points uh, off the bench. Um, for for you guys as an identity, I, I mean, how how fitting is it to have a guy simply just run as hard as he can from one corner of the court to the free throw line? Um, like, what does that say about the kind of team that you guys want to be um, in terms of just playing hard and 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 having that be such a cornerstone of, of your identity as a group? Yeah, we just want everybody to do their job. You know, you do your job, um, and that's all. You know, we can never ask of anyone on the team. Uh, from the coaching staff to the players. So everyone, you know, knows their role and everyone um, is just asked to do their job. You know, if your job is to run to the corners, then, you know, to, to create space and, and make shots, then you know, that's what, you know, we expect you to do. Your job is to defend, you know, rebound, block shots, whatever, that's what we expect you to do. To score, to come off pick and roll, get in the paint, whatever it is, you know, whatever your role is uh, on this team, um, 
we expect you to do it at the highest level. So, uh, you know, I think everyone on our team knows that. And when you know, you're not doing it, then we got guys on the team who, who can hold each other accountable. We have been doing that. So uh, that's why I think a lot of guys are starting to get more comfortable um, knowing that guys are going to get on them. And when they're not playing the right way or doing their role, then you know, we're going to talk about Last question, Kyle. Hey, D, um, you wound up with the ball after Tice uh, missed uh, missed the putback and looked like you were kind of hanging on the, the net for a second, maybe thinking a little bit. I was wondering, what were you thinking after that finish? And and as a follow-up, is this the kind of win that uh, still feels a little humbling, even after you're winning it? Um, I just did I don't know what I was thinking. I, I was just in a daze. Um, you know, a, good, a, a really win. I'm uh, playing against a team that just, you know, beat us by 30 last year um, in this building. Uh, you know, feet and, you know, we were able to, you know, put it off with a great win and, and a stop at the end. So um, it was just like, you know, you know a relief. I mean, obviously, um, you know, Kemba had a good look. Tice had a, had a great look on the putback, but, you know, losing two in a row, uh, something we don't on is something that we don't like. Uh, we were able to, you know, get this one. And we just, you know, you know, I went back in the win column when they could have easily went in and you know, but it killed our spirit, of course. So um just sign a you know, a sign of relief just to be able to get this win and then um for us in total, um, you know, I think we we just happy to be back in the win column. Happy to. You know, it's been a long road trip, uh, almost two weeks now. So we're uh, we're trying to push through it and 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 continue to play the right way while we get wins. Um, the long road trip can get to anybody, you know, especially when you're away from your home and your family for a very long time. Um, so it was it was a good win for us to to get back in the win column, especially against a team like this and got another team coming up who who plays hard. Um, you know, Trey and, and, and John Collins and uh, all these guys who, who are playing extremely well for them. It would be easy to get that win either, but it feels good to get back in the win column, going into another game and not, you know, dropping through the road. Okay. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>